I started getting bullied um, ever since I started school, primary school. Um, from the first day of kindergarten, I was labeled as an outcast. I tried so hard to find like a clique of friends, like a be or a best friend, and everyone just kind of turned me down. I finally kind of got into the popular crowd, and they only hung out with me only because they could make fun of me or I was a good laugh for them. I would spend recess by myself, I don't know, picking grass and waiting for it to end. It was about second grade and I actually started getting physically bullied. It got to the point that I, I tried fighting back but it just never worked. And I just felt that everyone was out to get me and um, everyone's job was to hurt me. Once I opened myself to have this attitude that I'm just going to take care of my life, it's all in my power. Um, I'm kind of the master of my own destiny. Other things started creeping in. Um, I fought with depression and suicide way at an age that's way too young for kids to be thinking about that kind of stuff. I thought that I would have to end it um, by cutting myself or stabbing myself with a knife or something, which I was really afraid of pain, so I think that's the only thing that really kept me from it. About fifth grade, that it kind of made a pivotal point in my perspective on life. We were coming home from a, we were actually going to a Christmas party, my family and I, and we were exiting the interstate and we saw a van pulled over with its flashers on and we thought we would go over then and see what was going on. We thought they had hit a deer or something. And as we got closer we just saw these two women and they were crying and they were screaming. And they kept saying things like, we didn't know, we couldn't see her, we, we couldn't stop. And they were just crying. And we, I remember thinking, why are you so worked up, it's just a deer. Like, It'll be okay. Um, it wasn't really until we got in from the car that we realized that they didn't hit a deer, um, that they actually hit a person. She was a freshman at the local high school and she had decided that life was just not worth living anymore. After the ambulance came, we just went back to our Christmas party and I just re I remember feeling so numb. The thing that really got me was she decided to end her life because she thought this life wasn't worth it. And that's exactly how I felt. What if I had made that choice? What if I had decided that this wasn't worth it anymore? Not only would I impact my family, but maybe even a complete stranger. After I decided to put Christ first in my life, I found comfort in my church family. There are so many people willing to welcome me in with open arms. I actually established some of my greatest friendships um, within my youth group. It really makes you feel like you have a backup support, that these are your roots and this is your beginning. For those who are struggling with some of the same issues that I struggled with, um, probably one of my biggest advice is don't cut the relationships. They, your parents, your siblings, people at church, they love you. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone.